Okay, Google. I can't connect to the Wi-Fi network. You might want to check the connection settings in the Google Home app. And this is what I have to work with. Hey guys, Greeny for Greenbox here and in today's video we try to get rid of that problem. Okay, Google? I can't connect to the Wi-Fi. That one. And to do that, we do it with the Google Nest Wi-Fi router. And why I went for the Google one, uh, that's just in a second, but first, ever since I moved into my new flat, which I like to call the echo chamber, so uh, I'm aware of the audio problem here, I'm working on it, but it's not that easy, I've got a new internet provider. And this new internet provider had a pretty awesome deal um, because I, in theory, have a 10 gigabit Ethernet connection. Yes, that's right, 10 gigabit. The problem is I really haven't found any speed test server online to test that. So um, the only thing I can assure you is my connection is faster than 3 gigabits, which already is pretty awesome. But uh, with that new connection also came a new router, a new Wi-Fi router from my service provider. It is just terrible. It works perfectly for like my connection to my house and to my computer. And I have a pretty awesome connection via Ethernet cable. I have super high speed and I have low latency. But as soon as I go onto my Wi-Fi on my phone or any other connected device in my home, it's just terrible, it's, it's, it's really bad. For example, on my MacBook, which is the only wireless device I own on which I can test that, I get up to 50% package loss and that's just unacceptable. I called with the technical support of my service provider and we checked that the router is set up properly. On top of that, the router isn't even able to provide dual band uh, Wi-Fi, so I have a separate Wi-Fi for my, like my 5G devices and a separate one for my, my smart home devices like my lights, my, my radio, my alarm clock and uh, it's just unacceptable. So I went out and bought the Google Nest Wi-Fi router plus one access point. And the reason why I choose this one over all the other great alternatives out there is the following. Uh, I know for a fact that the Google Wi-Fi product, which is basically the predecessor to this one, uh, worked pretty well. And secondly, I use so many Google products in my life, like I'm using a Google Home and I'm really using it. I'm not just having it because I have it, I reuse it. I use a Google Pixel phone as my personal daily driver. I use the Chrome browser on all my devices. I use um, Android TV. Even my alarm clock is an Android thing something it's, it, it says it's android yeah, i'm just using google everywhere one thing i really do not like about the google nest wi-fi solution already and i haven't even unboxed it is um there is a google assistant integrated in it. no not you there is a google assistant integrated in this one and i'm honest i don't need a smart speaker and the microphone inside my, my access point. I already have a Google Home and a Google Phone. I don't need my access points to listen to me. But hey, with that said, I know I can disable that, that functionality. So uh, let's get into unboxing, shall we? Come on. I guess this should be like satisfying, but in my opinion, this is just like annoying. Can this please go faster? Get out of here. Bam. Okay, that's it. Okay, I don't know which one is which. So uh, this one, for a fact, seems to have the Google Assistant built in. And uh, this one, oh, okay. So the Google Assistant seems to be built into the access point, not into the router. Oh yeah, okay, so. <laughs> uh, must be the t-shirt. LTTstore.com So, um, this is the Wi-Fi router. So this should be able to cover my entire flat, 
but because it's an echo chamber and my walls are all of solid concrete, I opted for a second, second um, access point, which I will place in my living area, like just behind the camera. So uh, I also have a good Wi-Fi in this area of my room and not just like over there. Oh yeah, okay, power plugs. I don't know what it is, Google, but like every Google product I own, and as I just mentioned, there are a few, has different styles of power plugs. There's a nice Google logo on it. So that's that. Okay, so what's that? Uh, is that what is that? That looks like a cable. Oh yeah, nice, we got an Ethernet cable. Most likely gigabit or something. Yeah, must be gigabit. Because we have like uh, two gigabit ports on this. So next up, what's, what's in here? Oh, wow, that, that's nothing to unbox. Okay. Quick start, Do I, is there anything I really need to know about this device? Oh yeah, okay, cool. So uh, I can disable the Google, yeah, okay, it's muted. I don't need like two talking pots next to each other. Okay, let's get this one out of my area. All right, so I guess I'm ready to install it. Then uh, I'm just go and install like the main pot real quick and I will come back. All right, so the Google Nest Wi-Fi router is installed and connected to my Ethernet network. And the only thing I need to do right now is I want to disable the current Wi-Fi because as I said, it's, it's just a mess and I want to have it off, even though it shouldn't make a difference when I set up the Google Nest. And one thing I think I should address at this point is uh, privacy concerns. Um, we all know Google is a company which likes to collect data and they at least claim they do not collect any connection data from their Wi-Fi pods. Uh, and I'm just believing them. And when it comes to uh, the, the security and privacy concern regarding the Google Assistant, I can just say I'm using Google Home anyway, so there's that. And to protect my privacy online, I'm using a VPN service anyway. This isn't a VPN ad, isn't it? All right, so the Google Wi-Fi router as well as the access point are now connected to power and the Ethernet. Ooh. Ooh, there's even light. Hello. Bonjour. Verwende die Google Home app, um loszulegen. Pour commencer, utilisez l'application Google Home. How about English? I assume we just follow the directions this pod is giving us. It's telling us to use the Google Home app. Let's go there. And do what? Can you do anything here? Wait, does this always light up when it's muted? Oh, come on, don't do that. Oh, set up two devices. We have the Google Home, that's this one. We have the Nest Wi-Fi point, that's this one. And we have the Nest Wi-Fi router, which is the one behind. So let's set up this one as well as that one. Oh wait, we can only set on one at the point? Okay. Oh, there must be an, 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 an code underneath the device. All right, I will see if I can find that. Okay, so that worked. Uh, where is the device? Bedroom, oh god, this is, yeah, it's in the entrance area of my home. Create the Wi-Fi name. That was easy. Want to set up another Nest Wi-Fi device? Yes, I would like to. Uh, place your Wi-Fi point, yeah, I did that. Next. Yes, I connected that. Next. Looking for the device, it's this one, just over there. Nest Wi-Fi point found, yes. I would like to set it up, exactly, there's my code. Connecting to Nest Wi-Fi point. Okay, let's see if it works. Um, this one is actually in my office. Next, connecting to Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi point has been added to your Wi-Fi. Turn on the microphone to talk to your assistant. Make sure the speaker's mic uh, button and switch it on. Mesh test complete, all right. So we have office Wi-Fi, which is running. Downloading update, all right. So it's downloading updates now. I guess that's fine. And in the meantime, we just connect to my MacBook and see if the connection there is now 
any better. I connected my MacBook to the Wi-Fi and let's see if the connection is any better now. So let's do a ping 1.1.1.1 and go for it. Oh, and that looks great. We have like between 6 and 16 milliseconds of latency. That's totally okay for me. And so far we haven't lost a single package, which basically tells me that uh, Google Nest Wi-Fi solved my problem. Oh my God, yes. So let's see, what is the, what is the update doing? Nest Wi-Fi is up to date. That's great. Your Nest Wi-Fi is ready. Yes, yeah, so am I. All right, guys. All right. I definitely know how you work and you get muted. That was my upgrading process. Simply connect the Google Nest Wi-Fi router to your network via LAN cable, then power on your access point and Google Home will do the rest. And from what I've seen now, the connection seems to be stable. And I will use that Wi-Fi now for a few weeks and like in one or two months from now I will do a review on what changed and what I noticed, if it's really any better than before and if it is, what's better. So uh, stay tuned for that video and uh, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And um, since we're on the anchor, why not click one of those two videos on, on this site because uh, YouTube and Google thinks you might like it. So uh, thanks for watching. I'm Greeny, this is Greenbox and this was how easy I upgraded my home Wi-Fi network. Thanks for watching. Bye.